Today I'm going to give you the cold hard truth. I've been a licensed real estate agent now for about 15 years and I hardly ever get annoyed by my clients because I try to meet with them the first time and set the expectations, tell them how I work, tell them what I expect from them and what they should expect from me. And if we all go into the relationship understanding what is expected of each other, everything works out much more smoothly. So you don't need to ask yourself, am I annoying my realtor when they are doing the job that you hired them to do? For example, if you are going to buy a house, you don't need to call the phone number on for sale signs in the front yard and ask the listing agent to show you the property because you don't want to bother your agent. Maybe they live kind of far away and you don't want to bother them. You don't want to make them drive all the way out here to show them one house. Well, here's the thing. The listing agent that you're asking to open the door has time restraints and a family and other obligations as well. So when you call somebody asking them to come open the door for you, but they're not representing you, that's being disrespectful of their time. But you're not annoying your realtor by asking them to show you a house. That's kind of their job. And that's what you've asked them to do. That's what you've hired them to do. If you've signed the document hiring them, that's what we're here for, folks. So no, you are not annoying us when you say, I just saw a beautiful house come on the market and I'd really like to go see it. It's kind of a no-brainer, right? Don't feel guilty for calling your agent to see a house. That is what we are here for. You're also not annoying your realtor when you ask a lot of questions, especially if this is your first time selling a house, your first time buying a house. You don't know all of this stuff. Now, we do this day in and day out. We eat, sleep, and breathe real estate half the time. So to us, yeah, we, we tend to get caught up in using the industry jargon because we kind of forget that other people don't necessarily know that. So if your agent is throwing out acronyms and you don't really understand what they mean, it's perfectly okay to say, well, I don't know what that means. Can you please clarify? Or I'm sorry, what was that again? What's the SPD? They're happy to stop and say, oh, that's right. I forget that not everybody in the world understands what that acronym means. Let's talk about what it is. If your agent is good, they are going to explain those things to you and not make you feel stupid because you asked the question. So no, you are not annoying your realtor by asking questions along the way. We want you to be educated. We want you to understand what's happening. And most of the time, most agents are really happy to share the information. That's why we're in the business that we're in because we love to help educate our customers. Now, if I'm the listing agent for 321 Magnolia Street and you call me and say, uh, Hi, I'm standing in front of your listing at 204 Blandford Way and I was wondering if you could come show it to me in the next five to 10 minutes. I have to be at work in about half an hour and this is literally the only time I can block it into my busy schedule in the next four weeks. What was that? Oh, uh, yes, I do have an agent, but he lives in Statesboro and I just don't want to make him drive all the way down here to show me this house. Okay, I'll admit it, that is a little annoying. Number one, because believe it or not, I don't sit in my car down the street waiting for the phone to ring so that I can drive over and show you that house. I don't understand. You, you can't be here in, in 10 minutes to show me this house? If you want to see that house, I would love to show it to you under two conditions. Number one, you have to set an appointment. You can't just assume that I am available to drop what I'm doing and be there in five minutes. So call up and say, I'm very interested in this property. I'd like to make an appointment. But number two, you cannot already be represented by an agent. If you are, refer to rule number one, call your agent. That's why you've hired them. They would be happy to set an appointment and come see this house with you. If you do not have your own agent and you are still just looking around, maybe it's your very first time out looking at properties, you haven't committed to working with a single person yet, you happen to drive by and you love this house, by all means call the number on the sign. We would love the opportunity to not only show you that house but to earn your business. I do not just willy-nilly work with anybody that wants to see houses unless they sign an agreement to work with me exclusively. Now, why is that? 
The buyer does not pay my salary. I do not get paid by the buyer. The buyer representation is actually completely free to the buyer. So why would I require that they sign an exclusive agreement? Because this happens all the time. You meet with a buyer, you take them out and show them five, 10, 15 houses, but they haven't signed anything hiring you. And then they go to an open house and the agent that's handling the open house says, oh, I'm so glad that you love it. Would you like to write an offer? I just happen to have a blank offer right here. Let's do it. And the poor buyer signs it not knowing that they basically just stiffed the agent that's been helping them all this time. So in order to avoid that, when I meet a buyer for the first time, I'll show them the house and then I'll say, if you'd like to continue working with me, this is my process and this is how we're going to do it. If you don't want to hire me, that's cool, but I'm not going to show you 20 houses first. You'll have to find somebody else to do that. So honestly, the only time that you're ever really annoying your agent is if you insist that they work for you for free. If you want to go out and see properties every Saturday and your agent is spending the whole day driving you around, but you refuse to officially hire them by putting it in writing, okay, that's, that's not just annoying, that's disrespectful. If you want them to work on your behalf, you've got to hire them. It doesn't cost you any money at all. Buyer representation, at least in my business, I do not charge buyers any money to work with my team. If you want to hire the Georgia Coast Homes team, we don't charge you a penny. We don't even charge you a retainer fee. We will gladly take you out and show you properties until you find the right one, but you've got to put it in writing and officially hire us. Not only does that protect me so that we know we are working with somebody who's serious and we're not just spending every weekend with somebody who's not planning to ever buy a house, but it also protects you because I technically in the state of Georgia cannot give you any advice and I cannot share any confidential information with you unless you are a client. How do you become a client? You put it in writing. You say, I want to hire you to help me buy my next house. We both sign on the dotted line. That's it. It's super easy. It's not, you're not signing in in blood. You're not promising away your firstborn, but you are committing to the real estate agent that you've chosen because if they're going to devote all this time, energy, and effort to help you find your dream home, they want to know that you actually plan to use them when you find said dream home. If you're thinking about buying your first home in the Savannah area, go ahead and download this document right here. It is your 